Ooh. Shiny. Oh wow, even shinier. Holy crap. I like this a lot. Welcome back to another video. Today I will be building my, I wanna say end game um, iPod, at least for the fifth generation. This is my current one. Uh, many of you have seen it in previous videos. It's the red screen one. I'll show you guys how I did that. But for this video, um, I would like to, oh, this is the battery. I would like to show you guys what I'm going to do with this. This one. So, here's what I've ordered. Everything just came about 20 minutes ago. Instead, I know in my first video, I said that I wanted to do an atomic red to match the red screen. However, um, after some more thinking, I decided to go with a white one. Just because, you know, in, in true Apple fashion, I wanted to pay homage to the OG of iPods and pay homage to Steve Jobs. So, here's a white iPod. It was hard to find. Um, this one was already a black one in this condition, was already hard to find. I was not able to find any in white till now. So, I'm gonna have to settle with uh, building my own one. This is the kit that came with it. Came with the click wheel. I don't know what the quality on these are. You know, the font, obviously the font is different. They can never get the font and icon correct, but that's just what I'm gonna have to deal with. Came with a uh, new port, which is nice. New backing. Um, this one that came is a 30 gig version with uh, some random serial number on it, which I am not going to use. That's why I ordered a separate one, which is right here. This one is just a blank backplate, which I think it will look pretty cool, like so. Oh, sorry about that. But I, I think it will look really cool. So this is the setup. I'm gonna save this for another project, uh, maybe for my second backup iPod. Uh, yeah, but it won't be numbers matching, so you know, I might get a little upset all over that. However, um, a little upgrade to this white iPod, which is this. This is, I'm not sure if this will fit, but this is a 38 milliamp hour battery instead of the 3000, 3800, I'm sorry. 3800, not 38. 3800 milliamp battery, it's quite hefty instead of the 3000 that's in here currently. So let's get started. There we go. That was way harder than it should have been. You know what? I, I gotta go back to this. All right, so. Now it's opened up. First, let's uh, disconnect or remove these spacers. We'll be keeping them as they are quite important. Now that I have these grabby tool things, I can, I still cannot. I think I just have to yank the battery out. Oh, geez. There we go, disconnect the battery. Let me compare the battery real quick. So this is the 3000 milliamp thick battery. And this is the 3800 milliamp, 3800 milliamp thin battery. Now thickness wise, I feel like they are the same. You know what, just to be clear, 3.9. So I'm gonna say it's about four millimeters thick and the 3800 milliamp battery, 3.84. Three point nine. So I would say not very scientific. However, I would say both batteries are about the same thickness. Here's my iFlash board. Let's disconnect the iFlash board. Let's zoom in here. So what you want to do is this thing right here should look like that. 
I'll take your little tool. Oh my gosh, it's so badly molded, that one. Take your tool, flip this up, and shit. Okay, it's good. All right, there's that. Um, I only put one 256 in there because that's all I needed. But then uh, my other SD card was just sitting there and not being used. So I'm just going to combine these and make it 512 again. Now, let's put the iFlash aside. Time to disconnect this cable right here. Same deal. We're disconnecting this one. Same deal. Just kidding, it's on this side. No, it's not. It's on this side. Uh, it's on the inside or the left side. You just kind of remove that. There's the backing or the back plate. This holds your uh, rocker switch and your headphone jack. There's that. I won't be using this one because I have another one ready. I'm going to use save, probably save this back plate for something else or transfer this onto the other one. I'm not sure yet. Set that aside. Now, we're gonna have to take this mid frame, well, we have to take this front plate off, which is just regular Phillips, Phillips screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three on each side, so you can do that. For this, a super tiny glasses tool um, will do do recommend having a magnetic screw screw holder tray however I'm just gonna do this I like to take my chances um, if you're not replacing the screen this is all you need to do if your LCD screen is broken then there are some extra steps However, my screen is good. I'm not going to bother doing that. However, I will show you guys how I did the red tint to my iPod. So you can see, red tint. Here's how I did it. Remove. Come on. After you... Um, take out all the screws, remove all the screws, it just comes out like this. Get your nail in between. Voila. Here we go. Um, here's how I did the red screen. This is a red film that I cut out into the shape of the screen. And I just placed it in between the screen and the housing. Works very well. The reason why I did it was that I was using my iPod at night and it was very bright, even at the lowest brightness. So, just to help my eyes. That's all. No special reason for it. Now, to remove this uh, click wheel. Well, you know what? Let's see what it looks like, shall we? I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. Hold on. Let's just do a comparison. Because mm, as much as I like the color, right? It's the font is it's bugging me. This this font. I cannot. I cannot with this font. Let's see. Ah, oh, but I really like this though. However, if I do this, I don't have to take out the click wheel. But I do want to show you guys how to take the click wheel off, so how about I just do that? But this does look really cool. Let's try, you know what? Hang on. Let's try like a panda. How about a panda? Oh man. Okay, so don't don't do that. Place this in the middle first. Wow, extra shaky hands today. 
Here we go. You know what? I'm not opposed to this. I am not opposed to this. This actually looks pretty cool. I kind of dig it. Oh, it's, it's just this font. I'm going to be looking at it every day. And it's just going to bug me. I don't know why. It's just going to bug me. As cool as... Oh, jeez. I really like this white... Oh, man. <laughs> this is so hard. You know what? Fuck it. So this is how you remove the uh, this thing. So uh, as you've seen, the center click wheel just, just comes off. Just comes off like that. And what you need to do is, first of all, you need to unclip back here. This uh, black connector thing. I know it's kind of hard to reach. Um, so this is just glued down. The main... The logic board is just glued down. So what you need to do is you need just a little persuasion. Oh, sorry. That was kind of out of frame. Just a little persuasion. Push it just slightly. Just enough to get this um, connector off. So, oh, it's kind of difficult. See, I flipped that right there, and now you can disconnect this. So I've, I've removed this once already. Um, if it's your first time removing the click wheel, this whole assembly is taped. It's glued. Well, not glued, but it's just taped on. So you might have a little trouble getting um, that piece out of there. but. Here we go. Oh yeah, this piece is also glued on right here. So just be careful removing that. However, that's how you remove the click wheel. There's the click wheel. Okay. Oh man, let's do more comparisons. Oh geez, I wish I could scrape off the font <laughs> off of, the, off of the, the, the black one and put it on the silver one because this is going to bug me. As you can see, it's not a big difference. Like if you're just looking at this, you're not going to notice. But for someone, I don't know. I don't think I care now. I don't care. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so to assemble this, oh look, it came with tape on the back. I'm not sure if I want to use it. You know what? I'll use it just so it's secure. Same thing, however, be careful with the screen, not, uh, not to break it. What can I do with the screen? Can I, you know what, I'll just hold it. So when you're pushing it, just be careful, because everything, again, everything is glued onto this, main, uh, this mid frame. So be careful when, um, putting stuff in. Uh, this is my first time really doing this, so please bear with me. Wow, that just, that went in perfectly, first try. Okay, cool. Definitely my first time doing this, unironically. There's that. Um, that's glued on. Do I need to glue this piece on? Highly doubt it. Don't want to, don't need to. All right, so it just folds over like so, bam. Um, this piece should be glued down, but uh, there's no glue. Well, there's some residue on there that should hold it. That's fine, that's fine with me. Center button just goes in like this. Line it up. Orientation don't matter as long as the four little, I just dropped something. Here we go. Um, as long as you see these four little protrusions, geez, these things right here, they go in each corner. You can see, kind of see the outline, or you can just, just do this, place it on the wheel and then hold it up. Oh, see, it's kind of tricky. Come on. 
being so difficult. Doesn't want to go in. There you go. That's what it looks like. Now, uh, screen time. Cool. Mm, let's see. I don't have my microfiber towel, so I'm just, I'm just gonna use this. It's not gonna be perfect. But, uh, you know, nothing is ever perfect. So I'm okay with just decent, I guess. Uh, here's, how the frick do I, what am I doing? How do you remove this? I see a tab, but I can't peel it. Here it is. Oh, you gotta fish the middle part out. Come on. So this is kind of the uh, padding material here. Ooh, that's a nice padding. Cool. Oh, oh, ooh, 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 I got it, I got it. Okay, now don't move. Boom. Let's see. Clicks fine. Oh, this font is bothering me already. Whatever. Okay, so that's how you put that in. Now I'm going to uh, put the housing screws back on. All right, so now that the faceplate is on, um, one thing I notice is that you can definitely feel a lip on here. Oh, that is bugging me. It's not a flush fit. I don't know if you can see it on video. It's not a flush fit. That's the thing with these aftermarket parts. It's not perfect. Will never be perfect. Oh my goodness, that is okay. That is quite annoying. This lip, ah, we'll see. All right, so here's the next step. Um, this is my other iPod. This is going to be my second iPod, but I need the uh, headphone jack and mute, no, the lock switch assembly, which is, come on, which is right here. I need to install that onto this back plate. So, just get the layout really quickly. Okay, I've just made the stupidest mistake. <laughs> I just realized something. This is from a thick case, this thing, which I, I have reason, reasons to believe that part looks the same. However, the headphone jack, it's, it's raised. Wait, so if I, if I just take that off, then it should fit, right? Because I, I put the headphone jack in. Okay, it's not a perfect fit. Right? It's not a perfect fit, but it fits. It doesn't really fit. Okay, I'm gonna have to take this one off and transfer this. I'll just transfer it and then I'll just, I'll get back. Okay, I'm back. I just transferred it. Um, I think the main problem with this, oh, shoot, with the, the, my first attempt was that this assembly was from a um, thick case which is, you know, a bit different from a thin case. And when I transferred everything from the th this thin back right here, everything went in perfectly. So um, the culprit, well, that was the culprit. Um, it's just a different sizing. This, these buttons are, I wouldn't say perfect fit. Um, that's just what you get. Um, here, let me show you. 
You see how this is crooked? I don't think that's my fault, right? Well, if I push this in more, maybe it'll fix it. Okay, I fixed it. Yeah, so there, I mean, there are some imperfections. However, generally speaking, um, it's great. I like it. Everything fits good, right? There's that. So now, where's my eye flash? There's the eye flash. So theoretically, these are all pre-formatted. Um, if you installed cards in here and then you cannot restore it, um, you probably need to reformat your SD cards. Yes, even though you uh, they're brand new and you just taken have taken them out of the box, um, you know it's still good practice to reformat them the way the iPod likes them or iFlash likes them. And there's a tutorial slash guide that iFlash made on how to go about doing that. I will link that in the description below. If you have any issues like that, then that might be a solution for you. Now, uh, with this thing, same as before. You know, this is pretty straightforward. Everybody knows how to do this part. Lock this sucker in. Put that in there. Very good. Now, instead of the 30,000, uh, 3,000, it would be nice if it was 30,000. Instead of 3,000 milliamps, I'm going to upgrade into this, 3,800 milliamps. Same deal with the battery thing. You know what? Let me take, let me just release this clip right here so it's easier to insert. Insert this. Okay, I don't know why it held the entire battery to do that. Insert. I think we're all the way in. Push that down to lock it. Very nice. And, oh, 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 you know what? Forgot. Crucial step. Connect the back plate with the front, which is this connector right here. Okay, I'm gonna need to get a little closer. Boom, there's that. Connection is in, eye flash is set, battery goes in there. I'm not gonna close it just yet. Um, I'm gonna see if everything works. This already looks pretty cool. Let's turn it on. Let's turn it on like this. I see the Apple logo. It's booting. Um, I just want to make sure before I pry <laughs> this open again. I really don't want to because I don't have the proper tools. I'm going to have to use my blade again so it's taking a little taking a long time here it is here's my white iPod compared to old black one anyway I uh, hope this video was helpful um, I definitely learned something about these thin and thick back plates um, you know these aren't interchangeable if you're if you have a thick back plate with this thing you're kind of stuck with it i could be wrong obviously what do i know this is literally my first ipod so uh you know you guys with more experience please feel free to leave your share your experience and wisdom in the comment section below because i sure do not know what i'm doing and by looking at this i already forgot to put in this thing so that's what I'm going to do. This is my white iPod. <laughs> um, uh, I think my next project will be a seventh generation. And I'm going to polish the front to make it look like uh, just a chrome iPod. And there's going to be chrome front and chrome back, which I think in my mind, I think it's going to look super cool. All right. So I've just taken this upstairs to restore it. Uh, everything is showing up correctly. If 
512 gigabytes. Only thing is that, you know, icon is black. Not the biggest deal. And, um, yeah, so now it's time to sync. Sync. Come on. Sync all of my music. Here's how you sync it. Entire library. There you go. That's how much it will take. And now, f for the best part, is that I get to peel this thing. So I just realized that I can't really close it up because um, the cable's still there. However, I'm still going to... I'm going to leave the back on there. But, I'm going to peel the front. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's very nice. I kind of like the screen protector kind of thing. However, shiny. Look at that. Shiny. You know what? Might as well peel the back. Oh, wow. Even shinier. Holy crap. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Look at that. Pocket mirror. Please ignore the yeah ignore that i really like this despite this this font is still bugging me but i'm just not gonna look at it all right here it is only issue i have with this is uh there's slight it's slightly bulging from the battery i'm assuming not the biggest deal um yeah you see right there bulging a tiny bit not the biggest deal but uh, maybe I'll, I'll figure out a way to uh, fix that but here it is looks very cool I really like how this turned out anyway uh, that's about it see you guys next time